Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our legendary Ma Teng Qiang Only campaign. We pick things up for episode 16 from turn 91 in the harvest season of 212. So as we jump back into game, uh, we're still in our long slog against the Nanman factions. It's kind of painful that they still have three factions remaining. Meng Huo, Mu Lu, and Lady Zhuo Rong, or Queen Zhuo Rong. Meng Huo, we let him live, and because we took the vassalize option. And I think I kind of regret it. We eventually liberated him to ask him to attack us again. We probably could have just wiped him out, make him go to another faction, and then fight him on the field. Right now it's a bit awkward, where we can't really break the deal. Uh, we have to wait for at least, I think, 10 turns maybe, unless he breaks the deal with us. So we'll see how that goes. And that's going to pretty much occupy Zhuge Liang's army for a little while, as we're trying to attack uh, the rest of Jianning and wipe out Mu Lu as well. Uh, speaking of wiping out Nanman factions, we're gonna just move our armies around. They're just, you know, counterattacking in all places, and we can't really have enough army to deal with all of them. And there's rebellions as well. And we're gonna test out if we can use three generals to delegate against something with elephants. That's also gonna be interesting. And then we have armies over here. So, yeah, we're getting attacked uh, behind our back all over the place. Our armies are in hot pursuit, so eventually we can have things under control, especially since we are going to end up wiping them out from behind pretty easily, since all their armies are preoccupied with us, so maybe we'll get started with that. We'll take a little piece here and a little piece there, as we're going to lose pieces behind us at the same time. And Ma Teng is still kicking. Oh, Peng De would be assassin. Would be means he didn't get injured. Um, this is chance event. Depends on the trait. Sometimes we have a. I guess this one is just random. He didn't have good traits, but we could get a better item. There we go. Anyhow, we're gonna continue to push in. Grab that T. Grab the rest of their land down here in Jiaozhi. Mu Lu's land. I'm gonna assume this piece will hold. And what we're going to do is we are going to rush over, but I think we can get there in two turns. No, we can't. So we're going to march because we can't heal anyways. This army really needs fire arrow and the only one who can get it is Zhuge Liang. And he's one level away, but level 8 is going to be very hard to get. So it's still going to take a while. We're trying to get back out as soon as possible before they take too much. Over here, we definitely need to raise an army to delegate them away. We're going to proxy a useless general. And then the best we have is like Luo Jun and let's see, Gao Shun. And then we can recall her. Hmm. Let's throw Guo Si out here. And the three of them can fight them. That's definitely a winnable delegate with all the units as well. And looks like Liu Chong's bow is on Luo Jun. We pick up a level. Now, Luo Jun has Liu Chong's bow, the gold armor he starts out with, and also a silver Ji. Very nice. As he level up, he can actually make a pretty good administrator. So we're actually going to give him administrator traits rather than combat trait because he has burn that's 10% to all sources some public order I think that's gonna be pretty good for him or we take this hmm we'll see what ends up being more efficient if we need him in a leadership role or not because he can make for a pretty darn good administrator in Jian, uh, in Jiangyang for example because you get some peasantry you get some industry and you get the all source bonus because there's commerce here with the harbor as well. We're gonna make him lead the army and give him the reach. He can keep everything. Poor guy. We do want to get rid of the red news. Not just a cost thing, it's also a challenge thing. We're only recruiting town units. 
We're gonna get more rebellions in the future, because even with crackdowns, only plus one. We're gonna lose a few territories, we already mentioned that. They need to find a third. We want to fire him. Uh, Liu El can work here. Why not? Right? We don't have anyone else better. And before we forget, we fire Wei Huang, who we misclicked last episode when we wanted to put um, Luo Jun on the field. Right? That's what happened. And we accidentally recruited him. I'm going to do something here. Save us a little bit of money, because they're absolutely doing nothing. We should have done this a long time ago, and they're all rank 1 as well, so it's not like we're even wasting rank. This way we can have a little bit of more money to throw at our economic buildup. Relatively peaceful. They could come attack. I mean, even with this force at this strength, we can take them with just our garrison and our three generals, I'm pretty sure. Not too concerned. Right, they walked all that way to basically be outside the capital. And I'm not even sure if I want to strike at the capital right away. Ooh, new mission. Try to capture your... It'll be fun. Okay. So he's coming towards... Danyang. I ambush here. Will he land? Or is he going all the way over here to Poyang? Well, no time to find out. Have to go back. Because I think most of the capture rate items... Oh, we moved it. We moved it to this army. Okay. Well, we're ready either way. Meanwhile, farther down south, we're going to wipe out Mulu. Or at least his army. We'll use... Hmm. We'll use them as the lead attacker. Hmm. Actually, Li Bu doesn't have a lot of the... Like, hmm, actually... It'll save us a little bit of movement on the second army, as they can move a little bit farther out. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, we need to do a few things. We need to steal one shaman. Doesn't matter whose, as long as we can steal one. Because I do want to have a chance to capture King Mulu. He's not going to join us, but maybe he can drop an item. If it comes down to executing him to get this golden southern elephant, we're going to murder him. I'm sorry, but we really want this. Gan Ning and Ma Chao can both put elephants to great use. And if we can get him on it, it will be actually pretty sweet. Still a close defeat for us, huh? We do have fire arrows, poison arrows, fire. Oh, we don't have fire arrows, but maybe they'll charge out. The retinue is really bad. We're talking about like ravine warriors, which is just garbage. So let's start battle here. Alrighty, so taking this without fire arrows is going to be interesting. Our reinforcements are coming from here, so we might as well be here too. If they charge out, I'll be so happy. But... Oh, let's celebrate! They're charging out, and we have Mending to heal all the generals, so let's group our generals together for a little heal session. And all the cavalry can... Wait, did they change their mind? Don't change your mind. I think they'll still come out. Hopefully, please. Anyways, we'll have our healing session first. We'll move our units over here. Once our generals are grouped.
it's yourself and everyone gets a nice little healing boost. I do have these, so technically we could have them tank up the tower hits as we go up there to kill the units, uh, but that's not a really great plan. I'll rather have them charge us. They were charging, why'd you guys stop? And we absolutely don't have fire. We have poison shot. It's great when you kite people with poison shot. It's not that great when you're trying to slowly murder them inside a settlement with arrow towers hitting you. Any chance someone stupid enough to take on... Well, that's because he's not an elephant. No one wants to take on Liu What about... Yeah, you... Ooh! Yeah, but I don't really want to. I'd rather have them route. They don't have Unbreakable, so it's better if we somehow route them. Let's first heal. Mending's really broken if you really want to exploit it, because you can technically heal all your generals, then retreat all your troops, uh, exit the siege, and then re-enter the siege. Uh, it's pretty bonkers. Alright, let's figure out how we can do this. So, if we all attack this gate... See, they have a couple units that came out already. Like, why are they going back? Why change your mind? I could send a small detachment to attack other gates, because I think at the end of the day, we have to rush in separately. Like, clogging through one gate is like recipe for getting murdered. So if we could first set up our other units as our healing continues, we just have to set them up at different gates. Are you ready? There we go. Let's see, where are the second gates? Okay, they're right here. If we notice one of the gates, like for example, do not have spear units at the door, like this one looks like it's just Ravine Warriors, we could definitely give it a charge. And it wouldn't be as bad. And then we maintain most of the forces here, because once one side succeeds, they'll start pulling. And then once they start pulling, we charge in, because we're actually the main attack force. And then we can use these to cover the entryway for those two groups, because they obviously tank arrows a lot better. Can we have the final heal? I got any more of that drug. And except for Lady Me, who's still a bit wounded, everyone is fine. We have some Hail of Arrow we could use. He could tank up a few arrow shots just to poison the elephant. I think that would be actually a wonderful idea. We could just get ourselves... I don't like the idea of us being lower than them. Then a lot of shots will catch the ground. So if we could like... Get on even planes with him. But he doesn't charge us would be great. Yeah, a lot of conditional statement right there. Yeah, we're just waiting for them to get in position. Hopefully we won't lose too much health making this charge. Seems like the arrow's falling short, not damaging us just yet. But once we enter the same field, I'm pretty sure, like, same elevation, it's gonna hit us. Oh, it hit us already. Okay, if I can just be right here and have the elephants not charge me because their butt is facing me, that would be marvelous. And we just hit this, and it's definitely going to touch the elephant. And hopefully more units behind as well. Now I should have aimed higher. Alright, no point to stand here and get shot. We lost 3k health for that volley, so that was definitely an expensive volley. But... We did plenty of damage. And if we can draw them out. Oh, he has a bow. It's okay, we'll run back. Alright, everyone's kind of in position. There is a spear here. I don't see any spears here. So, because of that, I'm gonna charge. I'm gonna have 
this activated also charge lost 4k health we have to wait a little because he's gonna get shot first we'll soften them up with the arrow hits we go faster than them because they're in that formation which is rather slow Actually losing quite a bit of men for the range block chance they're showing. Alright, time for us to charge two. Because now the tower is interested in hitting us. Uh wooden uh wooden spikes. Okay, so that unit's kind of washed. Hold on, can we go this way? To avoid a lot of the wooden spikes, at least avoid as many as we can. If we can just filter it in. Alright, we're in. We can also move out of the way and recharge them. Alright, they're moving away. Kite them away. Right, before they get swarmed too deep, clean this unit off. It looks like we have opening here. We're gonna do this. Charge them in as well. This group looks like we can make a clean charge here. Alright, we want to stay away from the generals for a little bit. And we can actually switch to poison arrow and just kite around for a little bit. Alright, clean out this elephant. We'll send the generals at the spearmen, we'll send the cavalry at the unit. Everyone here, charge here. Go, go, go. Yeah, the generals got us pretty good. Hold on, we can charge him. I'm gonna help this group out first to make sure we get a clean, clean entryway here. And then the generals will just use their ability to hold down this fort here. Oh, we have nice poison volley, we should use that. Pull her out. Alright, now they use their abilities. They need to pull back so we can use ours. Get out of the way, get out of the way, there we go. Shoot that elephant down. Alright, we'll help over here as well. No, keep charging, keep charging. One will take care of that. Oh, yeah, you. No, get out, get out, yeah, you get out. Oh, he's getting bashed around by elephant. Poor guy. Alright, we're fine. We're just shooting poison arrows off to the side. Alright, we cleaned out this area. In general, hold the ground here. Yemi yeah, got bashed by that elephant. We can shoot him again with the poison volley, but I think since there's so many units here... Actually, no. I just want to poison him. Units we can kill with uh, our generals pretty easy. Alright, we'll hold here. Shotgun him. Go after the elephant. 
kill these. You three kill that one. Bring it down, bring it down. There we go. Too bad he's going to be enraged, which means we should actually get out of here. Or actually, why don't we charge forward? Meet up with the gang, you know? Let them help us out here. Alright, there's a tower up ahead. We'll pull back. To the center field. Kill these. Ignore the general. Smash once we get in there. Smash once we get in there. We got one more volley. We can use it on the general if we have to. Alright, capture this. Once they leave. That should work. Come on. Oh, we murdered a bunch of our own units, but the shotgun effect, when it's close range, just absolutely demolishes generals. Alright, so we got the win. Alright. Wasn't clean, but wasn't too bad. Close victory means we probably won't capture many generals. Caught one. We'll execute. Alright, so the good thing here is... Oh, well, she can head towards Heartseeker. The good thing here is this army can move after the battle. And what we're gonna do is finally get fire arrows. There we go. And they're gonna keep moving towards Lady Juro. Okay, that's it for armies. Um, maybe we'll take a look at the spy. We ran out of spies because we did the murder-suicide with Lady Feng. That's our only choice with that, I think. He's completely useless. I just want to see who he had. He has some interesting generals, but mostly generic. Ooh, Xiao Chao. That's new, actually. Okay, but she's way too happy, so we are only going to use him to stash up some points for now. Maybe in the future we can make some moves. Maybe after Yuan Shao dies of old age. He is quite old. Aside from that, I'm also curious who... Actually, we already stole Luo Jun, so there's really nothing to be curious about. Zhang Ji might have some characters, but I don't, sure, I don't know if I want to pay to find out. I think we can absorb them eventually with some sort of um, ultimatum. So I think that's how we'll take care of Duchy of Chu. Alright, back to economy because we need that humming. We can boost spice income, which we will because we actually are running a spice trade. We're about to hit a million population, so we can finally upgrade two things at the same time, a bunch of things that we need to upgrade. Here we can boost silk. And we can make a decision to downgrade after this. Once this is done, we demolish this and we start downgrading. I think we can start downgrading now, because once we put the build order in, it's all good. The question is, do we want to wait to get these to rank 5 as well, because we're only a few reforms away. Oh, we should get the T. Had the wrong one for this long? Okay, that's T. Why can't I build- oh, I need to be a small regional city. Which I should, because that is an income producing commandery, but we're not- I'm not sure how we're doing on food after all the upgrades. I'm not going to rush it. 
We're just going to go for essential buildings for now. Hmm. Yeah, I guess since we do have a pry workshop in, it's pretty good for synergy. Corruption reduction. That's going. Now we're kind of poor. I probably want to get this. It is lowering construction time by a whole bunch, but what are we really building? I mean, we're building that. And then what? What would be our... Hmm, because of the lack of adjacency right now, is this a good choice? I still don't think so. I think after we get all the... Well, actually all sources, huh? 20%. But we're missing reforms. We're missing a ton of reforms. We can get this, which might be worth it. Or alternative is we go this route. Forty percent industry is pretty sick. Twenty percent to all. No, I think we'll actually take industry here just because of the buildings. Iron mine, copper mine. Yeah, we'll do that. I kind of want this to be a regional city, too. Alright, but we're out of money. And we're out of moves. So it's time to continue. Alright, Lady Drone is taking on Fulin. We saw them move up. We can't do much, so we'll let them take it. Our armies are in hot pursuit. And... Queen Juro is also attacking in Yunnan. Another problem. Not exactly in Hopper Street here, we're far away. Alright. Declare war on us. Do it. Right, not Burnt. Almost had us there. Oh, he's not actually in the pool. Useless. Alright, so we're gonna finally take the copper and hopefully the spice soon after. And that should finish our three spice collection. Drew down, please pick up some experience from these delegates. Oh, not him. Okay. Well, it'll be his turn eventually. Look at the charge bonus. Level 3. That's respectable. I think maybe we take this first. It will help a whole lot. Like, construction time is great, but like... Let's get... Oh, actually, let's push this out. And then we'll get this convert... Oh, actually, we can do three convert... Oh, we're over two million. Yeah, let's do all three. They all get the minus three turns already, and then we can do this on top of that. So that's nice. Um... Yeah, this army is trying to chase this army, and that's just way too far. But we're, we're getting there. We're gonna get. We're gonna finally find road again. We're done with this forest, and we should be able to get here. Attack in two turns. Who know where they will go? But that's what we have right now. Who else leveled up? Oh yeah, Simon character. Yep. Well, why don't you pick up this one, and then we'll go for that. So we can't reach them right away, but we can get close. And if they don't run too far away, we could catch them next turn, hopefully. Wait, what if we reach? Oh, I, I can I can actually catch them. We can end them. They don't have the fire burning stuff anymore. 
So what we can do is proxy another army. Just one general is all we need. So what we need to do here is this is the town. And it doesn't matter who else. And we're going to recall her. Move them up. To the max, doesn't matter where. And then we're going to recruit another general. Who's going to take us home. Zhang Xiu, go for it. Zhang Xiu, Zhang Xiu, not Zhang Xiu, Zhang Xiu. He has the fourth tone. Right, so he can siege and they can both just march. That way they don't run around anymore. And this is a livestock farm, so they got nowhere to go. Valent defeat. They're giving them way too much credit. I mean, we're all fatigued, except for, you know, fatigue immune units. All the generals are fatigued, so we probably can't beat them in a duel. But aside from that, this should be easy. She will never get captured. Concubine on her. Oh my god. If we catch her, do we execute? We're gonna also steal a few items. Since he's leading the fight, we're gonna have to steal... If we can steal hers, it'll be perfect, but I doubt they'll let us pick. I think, yeah, it's always the first general. You can take a... You can take some items from us. We have plenty to spare. Wow. We should be giving these away, but who's worthy, right? Let's start this battle. Oh, of course it's raining now that we do have fire arrows. Um, doesn't matter. I don't know why they get a lumberyard map for a livestock farm. This is definitely one of the bugs that was introduced with the new map update. Um, but we, we can work with this, even even if it's this situation, we, we can deal with it. I don't know if they're charging out or not, but we need our troops to get here. And if you take a look at fatigue, fatigue immune troops, even on March, will come out fresh, and they will always be fresh, so that's really, really nice. Our generals will always be tired, and they won't heal uh, up to um, fresh no matter how long we wait. Uh, once again, we're gonna have ourselves a nice little healing circle with our generals, while everyone else will chill off to the side, probably on this nice big cliff. Uh, I don't know if they're charging or not. If they want to charge out, I definitely would not say no. But first, we need to start our healing process. Now, once Gunning hits close to full, we might run him to a gate um, so that he can volley off into the gate. Alright, seems like they're not coming out. We can take the typical approach and just line up here if we want. It's probably the best thing we can do here. We do have... Hmm, we could burn it down. Even in the rain, we can burn it down. It's just very inefficient. Um, the fire damage and the buildup is a lot slower. We are going to take away fire well, because I don't want them to fire just yet. I just want to line up, get some vision on them. Seems like they're definitely not coming out. Not dueling. There they are. They see us, we see them. They fire arrow us. Okay, not cool. They have some, some units with normal range. Usually Naman troops have very low range. He's pretty much full. Let's go use a volley. And then he can come back and heal. A little bit more efficient than what we did last time. He's really going to get shot a lot by standing this close to the gate. Do they have wooden spikes on the ground? I don't see any. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim a Lady Zhuro. If we can kill her with this volley, it would be very, very great. 
Come on, don't you leave. Get through the flag. She's at 16k health. Let's see how much. Oh, she's charged. Oh, we didn't get. She charged out. That is not what we wanted. Now we're taking damage. Okay. Charge again? You want to charge again? Can we, can we go a little closer? If she's not going to charge... Oh, we're going to route? What? Oh, she yelled at us. It's okay. That's going to that's gonna counter after the time goes out. We're just getting shot a lot by the arrow towers at this point. Alright, it's done. It's done. Morale's back. Morale's back. What a joke. I'm going to wiggle. Oh, she's trying to use her throwing dagger ability on us. There we go. Right, now we go back to the heal. The brother is angry. Who is she? Just a friend? Oathorn. Wow. Intense. Don't route. Just get out. Yeah, he's fine. Any chance out of control Dailai wants to duel Liu Bu. Keep running, keep running, don't stop. Because he does get a damage boost, but his weakness is if we can reduce his evasion, Liu Bu hits really hard and he just dies because of lack of health. I might still burn down the towers, to be honest. I'll run them over here. I'm gonna run them right behind. Shoot this one. Listen. Why are they having so much difficulty firing at a stationary building? I don't understand. Fire? What are you doing? Fire. Like this guy like has to go this close to fire at this tower. It's on fire. This one now. Okay, we're good. Everyone out. Once these burn down, we can poison volley for free. Alright, we'll first get everyone back. This might take a bit of micro for the poison arrows as well. The problem is the fire archers. We can outrange them and just pick them off, then maybe that would work. Because without them shooting at us, we can hit them pretty easily.
Wait. See, how did he route? What hit him? Oh, fire arrow from this side. I didn't even see. They had two fire arrows? I thought it was the same one hitting us. Okay. Job's done. Well, actually, not entirely done. Finish the job. See, they don't listen. I have firewall off, and they're still firing on random things. He's all the way over there. All right, this is really annoying. Okay, let's get the fire archers up. I think we have free reign over this area, so we'll abuse it. And the poison arrow, we probably have to kite a bit more with. But first, poison volley needs to show up. Yeah, they can just empty out whatever they have on whoever they want. I'm back. What does hit you? And yeah, we'll wait. Yeah, we'll empty out our cavalry before we charge. Did they release the tigers already? Oh, where did the tigers go? Huh. We didn't let them fire well. Oops. We didn't let them fire well either. Alright, Lupo's gonna have a little fun. These are unbreakable. The tiger's still here. Oh, they died. They died before they got released. Guy lie, let's go. There we go. Couple wax. Oh, he hits hard. Oh my god. Three hits. Three hit. Wow. Alright, we had too much fun. I'll charge over here. Get ready. We'll take the spear. Oh, he has a roar, which actually is really strong here, too. Alright, charge the general. We'll come here and take care of the fire archers. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that guy's murdering them. Alright, we'll make four into three, and they can go into three. There we go, and three can charge in. We'll just have to murder him with charge bonus. Go, go, go. You're not surviving this. Doesn't matter how crazy your fire club is. He three shot me. Whoa. Still so surprised. We whacked him twice and then he just like murdered him. Alright, we'll let him route. It's okay. They're not braced. Oh, they might be braced now. Nope, not braced yet. Plenty of units behind. They're stuck by the tree again. Alright, everyone routed. Finally. Wasn't smooth, but wasn't too rough. Li Wu had it bad, but everyone else got a good time. Alright, that should put a stop to Lady Drone's invasion into our territory, at least on the eastern side. Western side, I think she's still pushing with Shamoku's army. We got a clay dog. We also occupy 15 settlements with a character who has honorable, gracious, or humble. Cool. Um, not much loss here. We'll probably upgrade this for the seasonal deployment limit increase. Alright, they're all kind of worn. We will got knocked back into the recruitment pool. We'll summon him back next turn. Uh, Jung Seo did his job. He can go back. And yeah, we'll just have them rest up. No replenishment because they are in the settlement. If he rebels, I guess this army will have to go answer. Maybe they can go stop them from this side while we stop them from this side. But that's kind of all we got right now. All right, we still have a few armies to move, namely Ma Teng's. Uh, he's also circling uh, farther south. Well, most of their forces are in the north. This army, I'm assuming, can't do much damage to us. Oh, they have an elephant and a general. I think I can defend this in a legit manner without looping. So I think we can leave them alone. Where is Sun Tzu? Where did he go? I don't see him. He didn't land here. He also didn't land here. Oh, we're gonna be in the river. Oh, we found him. Okay. He can't delegate a win against this army. I don't... Oh, actually he can, because we're all cavalry. So, what if we just... We can march and pop onto land. I don't mind him fighting us, so this would be fine. Yeah, this would be fine. We need to steal. Aw, oh, it's already been stolen once. So we can't steal that one. And we can't really steal this one either. So we just have to go manually get rid of them for next turn. Gotta remove this. And Zhang Xiu has our other one. He didn't help us capture anyone. Oh no, he doesn't have it. Who has it? I think it's just in cooldown. I think both, yeah, no one has... We, we removed it. Oh, okay. Alright, so... Let's see. Back to diplomas... Um, espionage? Nope. I don't like all these maybes. I mean, we're really treacherous. We're back to 43. So this is where we had our first uh, annex. 
because of ultimatum and spy action. But those are going down slowly. Event eventually, the, everyone won't remember. Oh, Wanlong's willing to join. Should we? Mm, not really. I don't really need his land. Yeah, 18.5. We gotta keep an eye on this. Because eventually we want all his land. Alright, that's all we can do. Let us do buildings. I don't know if we want regional city. Like, what would we build? What would we build on the sixth slot? Yeah, like maybe administrative office for corruption reduction. Our main issue right now is we don't have the copper mine corruption reduction, which is faction wide. Once we have that, it shouldn't be an issue. Like our income should be very healthy. All right, now we're just poor. There we go. Let's continue. Oh, Sun Tzu came to us because he's thinking he can win. Barely a victory. Well, we'll beat him. He's not going to get wiped from the field if we don't clean his army up entirely, which means we can fight him again next turn, try to get the capture with both shaman items. Uh, but let's get this fight going. Alrighty. It's a pretty nice map for us. Um, it's pretty flat for most of the map. They start on the hill, but since they're attacking us, they have to come to us. We have the advantage of being the defensive side. Um, although they're not on a clock because we ended our turn on March, so it's not like we can time them out. So that also kind of worked against us, but I think this is fine. I'm pretty sure he's going to come for us. I want to move to a place where it's even, you know, more open, more flat. Here they come. Um, we want to drag them away from their siege weapons, which they do have, and also away from our towers, which we are hitting them with. And we're just going to kite them. They do have cavalry, so it's not like the Nanman fight, and they do have superior range, as we mentioned. I might send the generals to kill off the range, the siege weapon. Everyone else can be two. We will split into smaller groups for more efficient kiting a bit later, but right now we're just trying to drag them with us while letting them leave behind their siege weapon. He's using his sister's bow with very low cunning to try to hit us. Very dumb move. There it is, we found it. And the question is, will they bother us? If they will, can we murder them? Oh my god, that charge damage. Do you guys see? Zhang Fei just got wiped. You know what? Can we get a duel? No, we can't. Okay, we are getting wiped by that heavy cataphract. Oh, double charge from Sun Tzu's faction. No wonder. Alright, so we're talking about like 600. Well, yeah. Zhang Fei evaporated. Alright, go kill these. Let the archers take care of these. No way to kill those. I mean, even at this health, they don't want to duel us. Oh, oh, wow. We're getting clogged over here. Kite, 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 kite. Wow, well, Guan Yu is in a bad spot. Alright. Hmm, this is a tough fight. We're misplaying a lot of this. I underestimated the charge, but we absolutely have to get rid of this before that happens. No, my units. Because I'm not really worried about this. You can see us murdering them as we kite away. Or supposedly kite away, because these guys are super annoying. Well, you made it. Yay! Alright, we kill one. Nobe also made it. So Nobe can also go kill that one. 
It's okay, not everyone's gonna make it past this kiting adventure, but those who does, go murder him, my god. Very annoyed at Sun Tzu. You guys need to pull a little bit higher first. What are you, where are you? How about you go kill those? We're hitting the inefficient units, the ones with shield, from the front. Alright, we need to split off some of our forces so we don't get murdered this badly. Oh, I can help them, I can help them. Let me help them. Come on, everyone get in here, everyone get in here, everyone get in here. There we go. Alright. Charge that. Alright, you guys break away. We need to split them into smaller groups. It's too efficient to charge with everyone. Can we murder him? If not, murder him. Yeah, once we beat the range units... Oh, he roared. It's okay. He'll bounce back after the roar effect ends. As long as they're not all roared out of the map, we're fine. You three... Yeah, they're bouncing back. Why don't you come back? He roared again? Alright, kill him. Everyone kill him. Can we kill him? Oh, hurry up. There we go. Took him out. Chase him a little. Make sure he's out completely. Take his health a little bit lower. Now you're 35. I think he's done. I don't think he's bouncing back from that. Now we kill Sun Tzu. Oh, Thorn. Uh, we don't want to kill him. We just want to route him. Just a few damage. Alright. Just delicate here. Kite, kite, kite. Force them away. Give them a boost. Sun Tzu, route, please. We gotta do a little bit more damage to him. Even if we not like we can kill him, because giving him an Oathworm boost doesn't do us any harm. Alright, there we go. We're good. We won this. It just uh, was a little difficult. It'd be fun, we would like to capture, but he has resiliency, so it's not like anything bad can happen to him. I'll prefer if he routes, right? Turtle formation. Okay, we can't do anything about that. Alright, but he quit, so we got out of this one. That was a little rough, it was close. Alrighty, let's see if we captured anyone here, even without the shaman items. Oh, we got his bow? It'd be fun, still won't work for us. I think this is the third release. I mean, he has fondness for Sun Tzu, so I don't understand, but still. 
Oh, the Jue is attacking our Jade Mai, our very low level Jade Mai. Um, I'll let him take it. I mean, we don't do any looping anymore, even though if we loop, I'm pretty sure we can beat them. They don't even have a big force. Actually, you know what? If we don't loop loop, like if it's not too ridiculous, I think we just fight this because I can win this one. Ah, uh, it's fine. We'll let them win. Alright, so we left Li Zhu alone for a second and they are attacking us now. We gotta get that back. We got ourselves a horse. Silver. Uh, we got Surin's bow back. We can give it back to her. Uh, but the war is turning around. I think we have the south contained. You can see that Mulu is on his last piece of land. Lady Jurong, we have one army coming back from the south. We have one army floating from this way, even though she is continuing to push with Shamoku. So we might just arm this army to stop them. And we probably also need to arm this army to stop them. So that's what we have to do going forward. Aside from that, uh, most of the south should be ours soon. Like, Ma Tung will take care of all of this. I feel like Ma Tung is going to do his um, historical thing that his great ancestor did. Because legendary, like, according to legends, it says that Ma Yuan was his forefather. And Ma Yuan was actually buried down here while putting down rebellion um, in the south. Um, so we'll talk about that a bit later. Uh, aside from that, this part is going well. Uh, we took a beating. No heal. But we have this army that can march over to reinforce if we need that. I don't even think we need that. Uh, but we can fight them again. Probably in a delegate and see if we can capture... Actually, why don't we do that now? I'm sure everyone wants to see if we can get Fan or not. We didn't equip any items, so we're going to withdraw. We still have enough movement, don't worry. That's one. And that's two. And let's go. It's bumped up to 31 from 21, right? Interesting. Uh, but let's see what happens here. I mean, the item got configured, but only one item, right? So the first commanding general. We caught the other general. He's disloyal. I mean, he has a strong retinue. I'm gonna execute. That way he might summon a better general? Okay, so we'll let him live. And then the other army can sandwich them from the other side. And we're going to end our episode here. I'm going to remove the item and then give it to them next time. But this is where things stand. Uh, we have a semi-friendly relationship with all the kingdoms. We are trying to wrap up our southern attack on the Naman forces. We're going to wipe all of them out. We can probably eventually confederate Shixie, confederate Qi uh, Uo. Uh, we can confederate uh, Duchy of Chu. So we don't have to fight any of them. And, but we have to fight them. Uh, our attempt for assassination and civil war failed because of the plus 11 that we can't get rid of. A bit unfortunate. But we don't need to fight anyone else. Once the armies are done here, we'll be redeployed along the borders here for the final push to clean out um, Yuan, Yuan Shu's old faction. And then we'll take his emperor seat, become emperor ourselves, which will force us to turn against our alliance. And then we'll wipe out Cao Cao very quickly because he's right next to there. And then all there's left to do is grab this. So once we get to this point, um, it should be pretty quick. It should be, you know, a nice ping pong action. Bounce, 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 and we win. Uh, but before that, things are still going to be a little bit complicated with the Nunman forces. So until next time, bye!